Blue Terry. Three, two, one, go! Right. Uh, bear with me as I uh, try and tweet out this match real quick. Like. Pretty quick with it. All right. Uh, so John is at 78. Vivi is at 68. Uh, Vivi with a small percent lead, and with how hard Terry hits, uh, could uh, you know be a bigger lead than it may seem. So let's see what we uh, how this is going to uh, work out. Tries to do down till I don't know what what is that is that side B, the radical, that's that's burning knuckle right so that's side B. Regardless, burning knuckle I I at least know what it's called. Ooh okay uh so VV trying to get uh punch with the up B and I probably would have killed because it was the true input one he was going blue but misses and John able to get a. Oh my god! Actually, only 56. That's not too much, actually. That's not that big of a deal. I mean, now it's becoming a big deal. That's the thing, right? Like, if a move isn't... Oh, god. I feel... Okay, this, I think, is going to kind of, like, combo... Uh, connect to that. Is that, like... Even when you take a lot of hit, hits, right? Especially, like... There's a lot of mental damage. Like, it might not have done a lot of damage. Like, 50... Yeah, that's a lot, but, like... You know, for how strong she is, like, that's on a low end. And, like, you know, he's a heavy character. But, like, when you get just hit smack over and over again, especially if you're trying to get out, it can be really, like, kind of grating. And uh, then you start kind of slowing down your inputs because you're trying, you're starting to second guess yourself. And then numbers gets things like down air, uh, just tracking your, your fall. Now, John, you know, with a stock lead here, I actually didn't really see how uh, BB took the... Oh, yeah. Okay. I think my first inclination Let's get fired up. was a pretty good one. I didn't think it maybe wouldn't be that good, but yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's see that last stock. John just kind of... I don't know how active uh, we fit forward smash hits. It is quite active. Yeah, just kind of... John's just going through the roots. Wasn't even like necessarily watching his opponent just saying like you're in this general area i'm not gonna get super punished for do if i do i still have a stock i might as well go for this anyway yeah how did this happen what happened here yeah okay so john held out sdi from the the down tilt and was able to dodge the up beam and then turn it into his own kill boom boom and then here's like the dodge yep and as you guys heard you got hero coming up okay so this was vv's stock Three, two, one, go! Alright, yeah, that time actually gets the, the down tilt up B. Anyway. BB on all blue characters, now going uh, 8 from Dragon Quest 8. John's bands were Town City and PS2, and uh, yeah, VB opted to run it back to Small Battlefield. Uh, this is usually like the most intense matchups uh, between these two. It can be very scary, you know. Like one uh, hero is gonna get bounced pretty frequently, and bounce is definitely gonna be a an effective thing versus uh, we fit. But let's uh, let's see how this is going so far. No, right now we're just kind of going for tat, but Don is just pulling away in the damage department. All right, nice uh, empty, empty landing into grab. Okay, don't touch my shield. Is that down air? Man, the shin box. It's really gonna send you flying. Okay. BB holding center. Honestly, I mean like getting holding center against John. Is, uh, he just gives it up. But yeah, good grab. All right, this edge guard could turn into something really good. John hasn't done any damage, so Vivi could even this up really quickly. The Accelerado and the Psych Up. 
Psych up's the one, the one swing. Okay. Boom. All right. And actually, we got to ourselves uh, an even game here. Vivi beginning to take the lead. All right. Vivi needed some time to kind of get get moving, you know, get things started. Uh, but now that we're here, you know, Vivi's doing actually pretty good. All things considered, um, like, the percents are even and stuff on the on this dock. But considering how far ahead John was, uh, Vivi's actually kind of a, a little bit in the driver's seat right now. Like, has, like, more more progress uh, in the more recent. Now I got an edge guard situation. And the dash attack going to catch the uh, the normal getup. Uh, Vivi now with a stock lead. But 76%. Let's see how long this can last. John going to come in with a down air. Oh, my God. So aggressive. And fully charged Sun Salutation going to take Vivi off the top right. Now we have a dead even game. Uh, yeah, you can see that, like, Vivi made the necessary adjustments after losing uh, their first stock and uh, was doing really, really well. John saw that and kind of returned in kind. God, this is so scary. All right, so Psycho is gone, and Bounce is gone. Oh, would that have killed if it was a crit? Would that kill at 34 if it was a crit? I want to, I want to believe it would. It's terrible, but. Boom! And Vivi takes game, game two. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, so bounce on the reflector. I think we're just going back to small battlefield. I, w I would say, you know, like, you know, great setup into Kaboom, but that move is a goddamn vacuum. Uh, Hero has a deal with Dyson. I swear that thing has the that optimal suction. Ooh, yeah. All right, so Hero versus Wii Fit for the next game, and yeah, running it back to small battlefield. I ha I do rem I do recall that numbers has said that he does think that small battlefield is actually Wii Fit's best stage. Uh, so you know if you're not gonna get rid of it, uh, you know this. Might be her preferred counter pick. All right, so yeah, uh, Vivi hanging out on the stage, on the blah, stage, on the platform, kind of like a. It's not exactly a blind spot, but like she only has really one option. It's very telegraphed for the way. So like you know, forward airs isn't really the thing you want to go for. Um, might be able to shark it, but you know, John not opting to do it. Anyway, Vivi on stage, but the but actually taking damage. Uh, John doing damage remotely. Uh, on his work from home flow. Ooh. Now Vivi's got him on stage. And uh, getting some good damage. Ooh. The, uh, the, the Kamehameha going to do some big damage. John now at 77. Uh, could die with the right spell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh, wow. Very risky to, you know, be right next to, to John when, you know, or any character that has a, a charge projectile. Very scary. Mm hmm? Okay. Let's see what this edge guard's going to do. Whoever takes this first stock might, uh, might be in an extremely good position. Actually, knowing the two of them, honestly, whoever takes the first stock, probably the next stock will be... Returned in kind very shortly. On uh, by the way, on deck we're gonna have Jen versus Carflow, so that'll be fun. Ooh, great, uh, great edge guard there. I don't know if he reacted to the fact that he got uh, Accelerado, but did the, the, the header super high up and 
you know, his jumps are huge at that point, Heroes. So, like, just went right into it. And uh, John going to take the first stock. Now, how much damage will John pull, uh, put on Vivi before Vivi takes the stock? Vivi's, you know, taking it a little bit slow, kind of fishing. Uh, not fishing, you know, not overextending, just looking for it, trying to find the right setup. John's at 144, still in a really good position. 23 is nothing. So we might have a revenge kill by VV, and we do. All right, so it did take some time, but VV didn't really get any hits and actually healed some. Okay, incredible. So dead even percent here on stock two. I really like uh, Vivi's like standing in place forward airs because it just it covers so much uh, space and like you know you're not giving up your room you're not backing up uh, you know and like there is an inherent unsafeness to his kinds of moves because like uh, like the way they swing they are pretty laggy and stuff so not moving and just basically like swinging short like oh if you want to run into me by all means if you want to get hit it's your fault and and your yours alone. Um, and you just kind of control it. It's like good pressure because like then your opponent needs to try and read when you're going to do it to see if they can try and stuff it. It's, it's a really good uh, kind of like uh, just command of space. Okay. John looking for this edge guard. Honestly, with all I've been talking, I kind of miss out like BB's at like super high percent. God damn it, weave it. I'm just trying to talk about like interesting parts <laughs> or things that I find. It's like those micro movements. That, that, that's, a, that's a good stuff. That's what makes like that's what makes uh, good players good, you know. Anyway, now we have uh, Vivi in an edge guard situation. Uh, let's see what he can do. This is still kind of continued pressure since then. Lots of interactions, but didn't exit the menu fast enough uh, and kind of. Or like didn't wasn't able to block, didn't react accordingly, and gets hit by fully charged sun. Now John with a full stock lead here. This is game three. Whoever takes this takes it. Oh, oh my god. That was sizzle, right? The one that hit the the header. Oh my god! That could have been exactly what VV needed. We would have had another dead even percent. But again, you know, uh Unless John is able to build damage, which we saw last time we were in this situation, also really great uh, using uh, Hero's actual shield to block it, the the header. But yeah, just like we saw before, you know, we were in a similar situation on the previous stocks. Uh, John needs to actually hit uh, Vivi, but so to actually build a lead because Vivi is looking for the kill, not not overextending, understanding the fact that like yeah, I'm at a deficit, but as long as I don't overextend and I keep I keep it intense, I can st slowly edge uh, my comeback. And right now, doing just that, Vivi hasn't taken a, a single hit. And, and John is getting closer and closer to losing his stock. We do have a minute 20 on the clock, but that honestly is still kind of enough. We're gonna, I mean, John's actually slowing down even further. I think he might be looking for the timeout. Interesting. Uh, John has said to me uh, that for heroes, like, oh, if you want to put on balance and you don't want to play the game uh, by nullifying my character, I will just wait. So if you don't want to play the game, I won't play the game. But now we have John on an uh, edge guard situation. But uh, Zoom going to get us out of there. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't think you can build 123 plus percent. In 40 seconds, maybe you can. Hero is silly. Ooh. Okay, yeah, VV kind of just trying to make something happen here. But might be it. And it is. John takes it over VV 2-1. All right, yeah, so let's go over these stocks. Yeah, that was really good. 
bumping into it. Actually, I'm beginning to think that that wasn't actually too intentional by John. You know what? I'm not going to give him the credit for that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, okay, we got the kill off the top. Just barely 